Life has got you feeling down You're wondering who is who It's time to change the look of things And this is what you do It's time to get a haircut That's what you're gonna do It's time to get a haircut Just me and you So come on down to Hairbiz when there's nothing but good friends The gossip is first rated And the stories never end It's time to get a haircut That's what you're gonna do It's time to get a haircut A brand new you I wonder how busy I am today. Oh yeah, I am pretty busy. Yeah, I'm looking good today. <laughs> hmm, the lights are on. I wonder what he's doing. Oh no, Darcy's here. How am I gonna make this phone call? Morning, Darcy. David! Darcy, I can't talk now, I'm busy. All he ever thinks about is his stupid chemicals. Wait till he gets off the phone. Then I'll show him how irresistible I can be. By me this time. David, what do I have to do to hold your attention? Take all my clothes off? That'll get my attention. I just want you to notice me. me? Well, I'm here now. Aren't you going to take your clothes off? Sure, but let's go to the back room. Stop fooling around. Come on, I want to show you my new experiment. Coffee? Yeah, I'll have a cup. So what do you think, Darcy? You like the way it looks? Mm, yeah. Come on, let me try it. No, it's not ready yet. Come on, David, let me be the first. Shh, quiet, for someone hears us. What are they doing back there? They're so naive. What do you think they're doing back there? <laughs> Darcy, pay attention to what I'm showing you. I am. It doesn't look that hard. Are you sure it's ready? Yes, it is. Now, do you want me to test it on you or not? <laughs> Can we park someone there? I can't. The conversation's just getting good. Hi. How long have you guys been here? Long enough to hear the two of you carrying on back there. Not for nothing, this is a public place, you know. What is he talking about? I don't know. Daniel, what are you talking about? Daniel, if you're going to eavesdrop on my conversation with David and I... I wasn't eavesdropping. Merely overhearing loud gestures coming from the back room. Sandy and I were concerned. Daniel, to satisfy your curiosity, David was showing me his latest experiment of the odorless perm. Not making passionate love to me in the back room like you like to believe. Sure, is that why your pantyhose are wrapped around your neck? I'm amazed at your imagination, Daniel. Sandy, I'm going to the bakery. I'll be right back. See, they weren't doing anything. Nautilus perm. Hmm. I wonder if it really works. I don't like that look in your eye, Daniel. I know that look, and it usually means trouble. Who, me? How could you say such a thing? Any problems keeping up today? Here, Biz, may I help you? Um, yes, you have a 430 with Darcy. Okay, bye. I love your hat, Madeline. Thank you. I like it too. Any problems or phone calls today? Here, Biz, may I help you? No, this is not a print shop. No, I don't have the number for the print shop. Would you like to make an appointment? No, you can't have a date with me. No, I don't do that, you pervert. Goodbye. Who was that? It was... Here, Biz, may I help you? Never no. mind. Hey, Dars, what do you think of my mother's new hat? It's nice. Stop lying. She looks like an over-fertilized flower bed. <laughs> this hat has style. You don't know what you're talking about. Mom, that hat really looks stupid. What do you guys really think of my mother's hat? <laughs> Are you happy now? Mom, don't get mad, but you need to wash your hair because it looked better under the hat.
Yeah, this one. Thanks, I needed that. How's your new experiment going? I think it's ready to go. I just need one more chemical, and that should be in by Tuesday morning. Mom! Have you tested it out on anyone yet? Mom! One minute, Chris. Will you sit down, Catherine? You're causing a scene. Having babies wasn't this painful. How'd you know? We don't have any kids. It may be ready to test another week. I just want to test on a human hair wig first if I can find one. Oh, I'll get you one. Mom! What is it? Look at Daniel. <laughs> what are you doing to this poor woman? Here, give me that. You don't yank the hair. You pull it gently, like this. See what you did, Catherine? Be my guest, Madeline. Finish her. Here, Biz, may I help you? Give me that. I'll suffer. Come on, Daniel, dear. I'm sorry. Now, you can pull my hair all day. Now, come over here and finish me. I saw that. Wench. I can't wait to go out and go dancing tonight. Can I go with you guys? No, you may not go out dancing in an adult nightclub. You are only 16 years old and you are not allowed in adult nightclubs. Well, I say if we're doing a good mood again, I guess I'll leave before it gets better. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Chris. Mom, can I borrow the car tonight? Get out of here and be home early. I'll be in my office if anyone needs me. I doubt any of us will need you. <laughs>
David were working on this together and that you wanted to test it on your head instead of a wig. Yeah, that's right. But you know how Madeline is on testing on humans. She's just old and paranoid. <laughs> Wait, get down. <laughs> oh, you almost killed me. Don't worry about that old guard. He's half blind anyway. You can hide in here. Oh, I wish the door was locked. Will you come on? The guard won't be back for hours. Sandy, please, no more lines. You asked me to do this, so stop complaining. Yeah, but it's been over two hours. <laughs> I'm a receptionist, not a hairdresser. Please just put the solution on my head before my neck snaps off. Don't yell at me, Daniel. You know I can't handle it when you yell at me. See, it's stop getting emotional. Just hurry up and put it on my head and let's see if it works. Is he gone? Yes, he's gone. Now hurry up and put in the solution on the other half of my head. This stuff's supposed to process in 15 minutes and I want it to be even. Okay, okay, don't yell at me. I'm not yelling. Just hurry up. <laughs> this stuff stinks. I thought David said it was odorless. Let me see that bottle. <laughs> I can take it. Do you want me to rinse you off? Yes, just hurry up and get this smelly stuff off my head. What was that? Was that the phone? I think we better get out of here. Not until you rinse me off and neutralize my hair. You're always getting me into trouble, Daniel. I should have never let you talk me into this. Just hurry up and get this stuff off my head. Sorry for him. David, you're the scientist. Why don't you fix it? Yeah, David, fix it. I can't fix it. Oh, okay. I want that no smell perm. I know you have it. <laughs> Who told her about the perm? Daniel did, didn't you? Yes, I did. You don't know. Life has got you feeling down. You're wondering who is who It's time to change the look of things And this is what you do It's time to get a haircut That's what you're gonna do 